how the graphics are correct too here. moment with the skull So, seems like collecting mask is something you're gonna do, huh? King of the Mountain! Oh wait. Feel Jerry smiling behind her mask. She says, uh, No, she can feel the teeth burying little grimace and behind my eyes. Nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. Yeah, no, you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Yet, yeah. I shrug, but any attempts are casual or fruitless. The movement is jerky. I don't think I ever be more aware of my little shoulders. He laughs. I mean it. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you have started, then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. Then I promised you it was going to be alright. I uh, told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman. How wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. 
You sat down, you lean forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking us watching you tear over the sand. Look at her, she can do whatever she wants. Daddy reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. Breath. I don't know where to start. Daddy's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. You chuckle. Well, I can help with that. You need to talk to Halil and Driss. Driss should already have made arrangements for your bike. And Hilal will share something, well, let's say, as useful as it's fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect what Yad is saying, but I'll stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. What if I choose the wrong path? I asked the Jay Jedi what will come of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths, Sable, or right ones. I should be on the left because the choices are on the right side there. Uh, we're glad if you choose to stay with the uh, Ibexi. Truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. Don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? You go speak with Hilal? I'll be there to see you off. Speak to Driss as well. I told him to arrange your bike with Ciso, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. The same one I used uh, on my gliding. Artifact, you might say. Take the device in my palm. It's naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on. It's near time. Beep, 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 beep. Compass. Mm -hmm. to be able to do <sighs> Hey, you got one uh just in leg there, buddy. The approach Hilal, he given an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hilal's verve and vigor. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it. A touch of nerves for balance. Table, take this. Gliding stone. Hilal hands me a small round stone. He nestles it into my palm. I feel a warmth not borrowed from Hilal's hands but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but I ask Hilal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I have just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? Tell Hilal that I feel. Hmm. Electricity. And you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. Look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the scriptural. They suck up its power like sponges and held it and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. Ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Lal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate the good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. About to leave, Hilal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? Bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. 
was meant to get that ready for you, yes? Remember Jerry's words now and tell Hilal I'll go and see Driss. We started Whispering Stone. What's a or nice? You can zoom in, you can zoom out. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Hundred messages. Zero. Have a good day. Aww. No messages for us. We're not loved. She looks out across the landscape. Dickie's shoulders sag a little. What is she what she's thinking about? What are you looking at? Dickie's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's a uh, Laria over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Laria. Do you want me to get her back? Zeki shakes her head. No, she's fine. I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I know more about that when I'm older. Up there. Don't think we can uh, get there. Or... Can we climb up anyone? Side. Oh, yeah, we can. Then it means we can actually get to her. Yep, okay, going for it. No! Come on. You got 20 or something. Mar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. I love climbing. Something up there. Ooh, 
Diesel looks bus busy. I should leave her to it. Okay. Ring my bell now. So, all damage. Not existing. Bad bucket. I told myself not to be too eager, but it's all I can do not to race up to Chris. Chris is a camp manager. He's been difficult to get hold of lately, but now I'm strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful, or has some custom feature. What would his name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore, or will I get used to it? Chris turns out with a bit of a start. Table! Uh, hello? Hello, how are you today? I asked Bruce how he is. Oh, well. Did it hang there a moment? I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spit out. I asked Bruce if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. A bike? He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. A bike, yes. Of course, right. Yes, your bike. Uh, that I was meant to... Uh, that I prepared for you. So today is your... Did you forget? In abject horror, I gently ask if he may have forgotten. What? What? I would never. It's... Uh, obviously, I have your bike. By which I mean I arranged it for you. In a... Well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. It's not here? Not exactly, but that's because this is part of your gliding. You see, Saber, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by... Again, test ride on a different bike. Think about it and find I have never heard of that part of the gliding, but Drizzt does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I would like you to try this bike as a test. Chris gestures to the sand cutter at his side. Quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I have ever seen one. What's the bike's name? Chris seems uh, scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Youngsters these days, always asking questions. Now ride the, uh, the bike through the ring and back. There, here is some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Don't lose your bike. 
When you're not riding it, your hoverbike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. I returned to Driz, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard, uh, despite knowing I was coming. Abel, congratulations! How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? You mean fires? Surely you would have noticed you were on fire, even a little bit. Was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Chris, is this bug dangerous? Well... He doesn't finish. Have you already been by Hilal? Am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands? And Hilal's got something to show you too. Help you out with more of that... Uh, mobility you're after. With my confidence in he, this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Hilal. Okay. So... I guess I can't drive up there now. Or oh, yeah, I wonder if that is because it's not. Uh, okay, I read that's like something totally dirty. Shum egg, offered by shums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock, these eggs seem to float with how light they are. 
There must be a good place to deliver this. Chum eggs, huh? But I read it as common egg first, and I was like, okay. Hello, Ali, Gambleholic. looking thing I didn't break it Get up there. <laughs> well, that would have been easier with a ladder, I guess. Hmm. 
be far up. Let's be far up. Why didn't she jump there? If we have enough stamina for this. He did not. Stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Oh, maybe it fits right. Ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Hmm. So tempted them. Uh...
Hmm. Damn it, you need to get better stamina, girl. Ding, 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 ding. Hello, Diggy. How are you doing? I couldn't uh, skip it. Mm, let's see what this is. How's the Elix adventure going, Diggy?
cuts. A cache of 100 cuts. Made from metal harvested from crashed ships. They have holes punched through the middle where a rope can be slid through for easy and convenient transportation. No idea what that is for. Level 10, huh? Mm -hmm. You're getting the little grasshopper. Exploring is a big part of a game uh, like that, like Elix. Be able to go around looking everywhere and Fun part. Hopefully, one is rewarded by something good from it too. Looks like a little shop. <laughs> uh -huh. Turn to Hilal, it's clear they know what I have just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I have even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Exciting! True freedom! Tell Hilal that hovering is exciting and rambling for a moment about all the things I will be able to do when I'm out there in the world. Most of them involve me falling on my head and not getting hurt, but I'm sure I'll come up with more in practice. Right? You can do anything you want. The lad's mood doesn't darken, but the side they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling. Just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's, it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might ne ha never have come back from my gliding. I would just be out there heaving myself into cast. Hmm. Wish we could all do it. Tell Hilal I wish it was something we could keep perpetually. So do I, Sable. So do I. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know what I've got to time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Blood laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? Think about that. I decided that there is already too much loss 
on my mind to consider it much further. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there. But the world is an easier place if you put joy first. Thank you, Lal, for the advice and for the help, and tell them I'll miss them. It will be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance all in one. I say goodbye to Hilal. Before I go, Hilal gestures towards the tower. Team Zizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Yep. We'll have a little chat with Zizo. Never been up there once, but. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Aww. No messengers. Uh, I think. The, oh, I can't remember the, what the name of them now are. Uh, going the first one. Oh, we get over there and see what they are all about. I think I joined the first clan pretty much that you meet. Or did I? I can't remember now which one I joined. But I think I did. Zizo is an out clanner to the Ebix scene. But I have known her for nearly as long as I ever can recall, and think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their pose and by their training and their code, must go to where they are needed. But Caesar has been among us so long that it is easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Ebexi are quite insular, or that our designation of Ebexi versus outclanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Sizu did. Table, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Uh, a bit worried. Am I really getting a bike? This one has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. It's quite a serious person most days. I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her shuffle. Yes, Jaddy told me how excited you were. Lisa sniffs. He also told me Driss will be coming along to get your bike together. But I think he may have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I told her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss his uh, forgetfulness. We are tasked with so many odds and ends. I might just be a scattered. And besides, this would be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts yourself. That sounds like an adventure. Tell Caesar I like the sound of that. A little adventure before my big one. It's more meaningful than you know. To bond with one's bike before it has taken form is more privileged than labor. Here, yeah, take this. Caesar hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. I see so where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships and fragments spread apart. Good stuff will be the ship down there near the camp. You'll find another up on the great rock near the other side of the canyon. Oh, we are repeating over there. And another behind the old dam on the hill. 
Yeah, that's how we can climb that one up. These are navigators and mark that down if you need. You need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. Most gladiators make their own pipes. Hello, Jeanette. Nah, I played Diablo 2 uh, when it was many years when it was out already. Remake doesn't make it looks great when I tried it out, uh, but I have no interest in playing it again. I'm doing okay, tired, a little bit stressed with work, but okay otherwise. How are you doing, Jeanette? My little French baguette. <laughs> yeah, see, so if most gliders really make their own bikes. Only the lucky ones. Then see, so I'll see her soon and head off in search of the components. Together we will create something new after the old. Navigator. Using your presentation, you never get the mock interest landmarks to appear on your compass. You can also add it. We've been over there already. So I want to go. I'd like to go over there. Are you gonna are you gonna play Diablo 2 Jeanette? The remake? There's something in there. I'd like to have a look at. Yeah. This is waiting for the parts. Going to find an Tommy calibrator. Hold panel. Do, 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 do. Not at all. Well, pro cartographer. Ah, greeting child. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? It really is. I nod enthusiastically. It really is an oppressive vessel. However nervous I get imagining being up there all alone. I wonder if anyone's ever fallen off of one. That's not to ask right now. Well, good to meet you, and... Oh, I should introduce myself. I am Jordan. I tell him I'm Sable. Suppose if you come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? I would love a map. Tell the cartographer I would love a map. Of course you would. That would be 50 cups. In my ears, it's a fair price for a map, but too expensive for a pre-gliding glider with an empty pocket. I'll tell Jordan I'll be back. I need to ask Jedi for some money. Or well, chow. Don't I have that? 
Lim was more fun than the person in it. Yeah, JD got the cut oh, for once. 50 cuts for a map of the Ever. Try to hedge the way I speak about this as I'm not entirely sure whatever that's too much, not enough, or precisely its value. It tells me not to worry. Get some money to get you going on your journey. Use it most wisely, but not a little unwisely when the mood strikes. Good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. Thank Jedi effusively and head out on my way. Okay, get up here so we can just jump and glide over there. Shell. I'll buy that map. Perfect, let's trade them. Map of the either sold by members of the cartography guild. Ah, I seem to have nothing left. Mm -hmm. button that is that one. Mm -hmm. thank jordan for the ever map and all its vast possibilities something about this makes me feel more real good luck on your gliding sable I still remember mine. I asked how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy that uh, cartography was for me. But I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there. I don't have more maps to sell you. From Hoka to the Solic Waste. Thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, ciao. Shamig, huh? Thank you. 
Yeah, the music in the uh, games I've played lately has been really great, I must say. Nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I know there's a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push the button! The voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot! Sorry, Remy. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right, let's see if what uh, if what that uh, old machine has told us holds up. If not, there will be a hell to pay. I hear the sound of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps? Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever. Hard. Yes, I mean. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on Rohana's mass. Not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. Works! We're flying! More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Ramin? Let me check the machine its notes. Long pause, the uh, rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. For me? The clever Toma, the one you just ripped out. We're going too fast, we're going to crash, we need to try to... The recording cuts off there. Looking for a cal calibrator? I am merely on guard. Time has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it. In practice. You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You never find it. Never, never. Never fails to get to me. May I please have it? I decided to be gentle and ask her, may I please have it? May I please have it? It makes me terribly all high and screechy. Despite my best efforts, I see it. Oh well, too bad. Maybe you find it on your own, but I don't think so. I'm a loss of my irritation, but I'm going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to effect the change. I give you the calibrator. I put out my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Simon. You give me some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. I try to decide if it's more mature to push it over and steal the calibrator or to exercise. Then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. There's some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. Kid, I'm running her over. Yeah. 
the camera. Need a bug, yeah, or um, I think I know who it is. Ask about catching beetles uh, for that awful little assignment. Do you know where I can find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can just uh, walk up to one and catch it. Huh? There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. That it greets me warmly. I think I would a little glider. What was your gliding like? I asked Jada about her gliding. I tried jumping already and it didn't do anything. I asked Jada about her gliding. Tell you what, I'll tell you when you get back. I crossed my arms in protest. Not only once, I don't want to spoil any surprises. She lowers her voice to a whisper. But I did meet some crystal farmers once. Crystal farmers? That's all I will say about that. You should get going. Do you mean like climbing and then jump? Then you just fall off. You can't uh, jump up, so to say. You get further up. Uh, colors because we got a uh, power that empowered us to do things and see it all differently. Thank <laughs> you. 
looted. Let's see if we can um, get here. The animation is a little bit weird. the visual style though. Just wondering what it is I'm supposed to be. Oh, it's those things. What the heck? Nothing there, we got everything up there. We can just as well go to the dam then. So you don't like the Borderlands uh, type of stylish then? Laura?
Oops. Telltale games, the uh, first ones are really good. <laughs> Do you overlook the style? Everything shaking. Far from that one. Little angel here. Oh my god, that puzzle. Hmm. Genius class of Solomon. Hmm. 
Looks like it. So I can't climb up there. That gives us the stamina we need. Over here, and there seems to be something. <laughs> yeah, that's good that it don't have full damage, though, but you can. <clears throat> yeah, I can just glide, glide down, though. I can use the bubble. And I'm falling down, so I can't get really damaged no matter what. Luckily, it doesn't use stamina here, though. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> We still take the money. Because with flying you can, you know, just bypass so much in the game. With gliding you can, uh, with flying you can like fly over everywhere and just get wherever. 
I don't think the developers want that. Yeah, or uh, limit them in which zones you can fly and stuff like that it becomes more of a... Yeah, you can fly in that zone, but not over this zone. <coughs> so... Game developed wise, I assume... Makes it a lot easier to just use the gliding. Flying uh, limits you which zones you can fly in. You can't fly. You <coughs> they have like certain air zones you can fly in. You usually have to <coughs> earn flying. Wait. Um. And all those. Let's see. I'm in a cave under a camp. You could have a look down there. Black Post my selection of obscure and lyrically mediocre Ibexi historical ballads whenever I pass by. It's a great verse that says much about our folk, buried in the sand. Feeling Bernsley vindicated as a hand signed with the Beatles, but rather than gloat, he hands me the calibrator and begins to cry. What have I done? You're leaving. You're leaving and you'll never come back. Comfort her. She blows her nose and then wipes her hand on her tunic. Yara never came back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. <coughs> I miss her too. There's been a letter here and there, but it is, it is always to us rather than to me. I'm not bitter, but hope not to be like that. Please don't go. I tell Simon not to worry, that I will be back sooner than she knows. I'm sure she pals behind the man. And I add that if I'm not back sooner than she knows, then she'll be ready for her gliding by then, and she can come bother with me herself. Promise? I say yes. Good, then I suppose I can come and see you off. Thank her and say goodbye for now. Okay, and let's see. Right now. Uh, let's see. Of course. That one. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, it's lucky today. <clears throat> yeah, I'm playing with the keyboard and mouse, though it is. Yeah, you can also play with a controller, of course. Turn to see her with a parson. It says she waves me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again once I'm gone? Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? Hmm. I'm ready. And let us head to the workshop. Sister relaxes in the workshop, it isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily. There's a certain calm beauty that one truly appreciates when Sisu is in her element. I wonder if it's uh, this way for all machines. But you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquire, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan we believe that machines have names, held for ages like deep secrets, and heard by those unequipped to listen. We'll find this one's name together. Sample a machine. Listen. Lisa tilts her head a moment, leaning closer to Simone. All at once, a new I know the hoverbike's name. Moon. I say it in a whisper to let Cisa know. Moon. T. Moon. Well done, Sable. What does it mean? What does it mean? Did you ask her? See. Ask her yourself. This looks entirely serious. The bike, to my enduring surprise, says nothing. Even when I lean close. Tell Simone that I'm eager to know her better. Cecil looks quite proudly at the both of us. You're ready then for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. Not blessing, perhaps. But Cecil is prone to such things and I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simone. To take care for her. Pick up my fellow machinists uh, on your travel sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. It's a machinist badge. You will meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth and they will give you more badges. I thank Caesar twice for good measure and give a bow. I am ready.
No. Look up to, uh, to the cliff edge. The shore hooves of the apex anchored to the steps. Horn sentinels guarding the high plateau. Our boots found purpose, a uh, purchase in the stone. And we remember the days when we could not glide. Okay. Return to Jedi with a new lightness. It makes me weigh the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Table, is that a badge you got there? Cecil gave it to me. Tell Jedi that Cecil gave me the badge. And you must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if you get this up, you'll be headed for the mass cast in no time. I to think about going to a mass cast, but it seems impossible far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You got plenty of badges when you're out there, and once you got three alike, you can trade it in for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. Gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. How will I choose one? You will have to feel it out. But when you know, you will know. Now. Connor now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all of this done, there's only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Come to walk through the face door at the Temple of Rohana. There you will assemble your gliding mask. And go. There are things I wish to convey to Jada here. Depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made you these. They are dyed with his traditionally Bexy maroon, and I hope, uh, and I hope, provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, a clan child of the Bexy. You will simply be Sable. The rest will come. But no matter where, what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you, and I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin. I am ready. Hmm. So I'm gonna check down here for a little hiding. Hmm. Actually, red die. Red bike, huh? Being the uh, ground. Anyway, take this shot up. Do I have to go the other way?
Of it in. I have to get up on that one to get there. <laughs> one down. Here to go. This one, uh, get that one up. Cats. Hundred one. Climb me, climb. Nope. Get our mask done. Yes. 
Fix your mask. Here we are again. Hmm. Oh, the bag is not there. Return to camp. Post box, log it in. Hello, Sable. Hear his voice echo strangely through the machine, yes, it warms me. Well, Abel, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. Gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There is a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weeply into her arms to stay forever. It's Gloria. But I'm ready, so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you're not without friends. You're not without family. You're not without love. These things you will always carry with you as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Utari. They are the machines at Burnt Oak Station, among Caesar's closest friends. Tari is a good contact to have one on one's gliding, and a fun way to get another machine is bad if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion though. As for us, I'll send another message once we have returned to Ever. But keep an eye on the post boxes and try not to forget us. It takes a long breath and forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Uh, 
That's a weird ceremony. Like, okay, you go and get a mask and then they, uh, the rest ditch you. Where are we going? Leave the canyon. Okay. We can summon our glider. for Faster. Okay, just needs go that on more speed. Mm-hmm. 